this section. It's not for that. It's just for you to see how cool this is now. This is an unbounded region. Unbounded. All the stuff you've got in your homework all has nice limits of integration. But this, this uh, Gabriel's horn problem came from graphing y equals uh, 1 over x. And um, revolving this curve around the x-axis, but it doesn't stop. It keeps going. All right, so this, this is going to continue out forever. So when we try to find its volume, you're integrating in a 1 to infinity. Yes, we're going to be integrating from 1 to infinity. Okay, volume equals, and probably you'll do Discs. It goes on the shelves, but how about discs? If we look here and make a slice, because the other piece of the horn is coming like this and getting closer and closer to the x-axis, I think discs would work very nicely for this one. So we need pi r squared, and that's a d. It's a dx disc. So pi from 1 to infinity, 1 over, well, let's see, that's the y value. If we take a typical point x, y, y represents the distance from here to the curve. So uh, y squared, so that's 1 over x squared dx. Now, you couldn't do this in the chapter where we first talked about it because you didn't know about improper integrals. But now what will we do to finish this out? Okay, we turn it into a little limit. Let's go b approaches infinity from 1 to b, x to the negative 2 dx. Sound a little familiar? This was the, I'm bringing you back around to the beginning of class today. Okay, so that's a pi, and that's a negative 1 over x, evaluated from 1 to b. Oops, I lost my limit. Oops. Well, uh, John likes them better with the limit, and I think Peter does too, so okay. I'm just I trying like to satisfy them. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we get a negative 1 over b. minus a negative 1 over 1, and that's still a limit. And as, right, as b blows up, this goes to 0, and we end up with a 1 times a pi. So we end up with a volume that's a finite amount. Finite amount. So even though this goes to infinity. thing goes to infinity, I have a finite amount of wedding present to put in there. And now, let's find the surface area. Now that I, I bought my present, I put it in its little package. Now I need to wrap it. Okay, so to wrap this, uh, since my function was 1 over x, I need the derivative. Negative 1, x to the negative 2, so negative 1 over x squared. And I need its square. 1 over x to the 4th. And my surface area, s, is 2 pi integral from 1 to infinity. Square root of? Well, radius, oh, wait, we need the radius, the and actually we already kind of messed around with that when we did this. Value. So it's going to be a 1 over x, square root of 1 plus, one plus one over x to the fourth. thanks, 1 over x to the fourth dx. 
which ordinarily you'd have to integrate by hand, right? Because you're not putting that into your calculator. And so sorry to say, we don't have anything to integrate this with. If we bring this up to the top, it's an x to the negative 4. The derivative would be negative 4, x to the negative 5. We're not going to be able to make u to the n du. And in fact, we don't have a formula for this. But even further, this integral diverges. No, no, we don't know it diverges because we can't solve it. Sometimes we can't solve something because we haven't looked hard enough. But I'm telling you for sure, this one we can integrate. It does diverge. They prove it in the book with a little comparison test. So there is no integration formula for it. But, but this is the staggering part. You could fill it up, but you, but you couldn't wrap it. That's staggering, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Now, your author has, on that same page, he refers you to a little article. And I guess what one of the mathematicians did was they expanded this to, instead of this function, they made a piecewise function. And when they did it, it looked like a wedding cake on its side. So you'd have to tip it up like this. So we had a wedding cake that you could um, um, build, but you couldn't ice it. Who'd want wedding cake without the icing? No one. Well, I mean, at least you'd have a great amount of cake. Yeah, you'd have enough.